My name is Emmy. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to take you guys through my high school art portfolio back in 2017. Recently, I was tidying my room and I found out that I made so many pieces of art back in high school. They were all great memories to me. Without further ado, let's get started. actually graduated from high school back in the middle of 2017. I'm currently a junior at college in Hong Kong right now. My major is fine arts and mainly I focus on art history, both Chinese and Western art and also studio arts. Although when I'm looking back the work that I've done from high school was kind of immature right now, I still want to share to you guys the process that I've been gone through. I've got four different art workbooks and they are all based on one main topic. My main topic is about light and dark, which just means that everything or every issue in this world, they kind of have their bright side and dark side. They kind of both have drawbacks and benefits. One of the reasons why I picked this topic is that it has more space and freedom for me to create whatever um, artwork that I want. So. My first piece of art is this one, it's called Deal with Devil, actually it's a watercolor um, drawing, um, I kind of made this like three, three and a half years ago, and it's talking about the negative influence of um, climate change. So mainly for this painting, I use um, watercolor um, ink and also a little bit of acrylic. It took me around like five days to complete this one. I think one of the most exhausting or like time consuming part is drawing the draft. Because like look at this. It like for me, like back in high school, it's kind of this size is kind of huge for me. And I I don't I didn't have enough time to finish it. So I still remember it took me like one to two days to draft this. <laughs> Especially like here, um, I've got like many details here and I need to draw like some animals like this man just bury his head in the sand and he is like a candle which symbols like hope of climate change if we kind of cooperate it um, with different countries in the world and I kind of want to, I kind of want to um, create different scenarios to depict the whole image, the whole picture of this serious global issue. Before I really going to draw, to draw it, um, I tried to do like several watercolor tests first. Like I tried different techniques and I kind of like imagine like which part can use these techniques. So the next piece is also a watercolor drawing. Uh, for this one, I have two pieces of works under one subtopic which is New York City. I wanted to like use the city to make a symbol that like in the past New York kind of represented um, like American dream or like a stunning place an attractive place in the world. So um, it's also like one of my childhood dreams. But I want to point out that um, it's not only about bright side but also dark side. Um, the way that you see or you feel one thing that they they are not only concentrated on one aspect. So this one is my first watercolor painting under this topic, New York City. So I drew a uh, like a kind of attractive woman in the center, and then I also like drew like um, a bunch of skyscrapers on top of this woman. So this woman is representing um, like the like the usual image of how people see New York City. So this this painting is um, the bright side of New York. I also add some glitter on it, like on top of these flowers. So for another um, watercolor drawing, I don't have them at my home. So um, that one is actually about the dark side of New York, like some homeless issues or like some um, serious problem that people might not recognize at first 
about this city. So my next piece of work that is also watercolor drawing, but I also add some Western calligraphy elements on it, like Gothic calligraphy style. I also don't have them on my hand. Basically talking about humanity, how I feel this topic, what I'm thinking about it, how I thought about this thing. I also wrote um, some calligraphy words on top of that watercolor drawing. The quote is like this. You must not lose faith in humanity. Humanity is an ocean. If a few drops of the ocean are dirty, the ocean does not become dirty. So yeah, so that's my third painting. This one is my final work. This one is actually my favorite one, I guess. So this is like a three-dimension work. I try to use different layers to create like a more pop-up effect. So this one is talking about the Hong Kong education system because like back in high school or like no matter um, which year is it, I kind of feel like um, even though I'm a um, Hong Kong citizen, I, I don't really feel that the Hong Kong education system is doing its good job. It's kind of makes people don't know how to pursue their dream or kind of restrict them to do whatever they want, I guess. Basically, this work is expressing how I felt about the whole education system in today's society, especially like nowadays Hong Kong, there's so many things happen. I used one week to finish it. It basically has like 10 layers, so which is kind of um, time consuming. So for the top, the bottom, the sides, and also the back, I use a foam box. And for this part, I went to IKEA and um, bought um and bought a frame, so so that I can create like a very pop up effect for each layers. Um, some of the layers I use print pictures or like some hand dropped um, painting or drawing and also I add some calligraphy on top of it I also um, craft some trees like different shapes to make it more sophisticated Hong Kong is not like before it is even getting worse -er. and one of the things that I've been thinking is that um, what art can bring influence to others so that was also one important thing I always thinking when I'm trying to make arts or trying to make some words that maybe bring impact to others or express some messages. So these are my four artworks that based on light and dark this topic. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel. If you guys have any questions, please comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Ooh.